Hello everyone, in this video, I will guide you how you can do e-invoice API registration on Transact. So on Transact, we do have a functionality of creating e-invoice directly after creating the invoice. For that, you need to do an API registration in order to link both the portals from where you can do so and how you can link Transact and e-invoice portal. So for that, first of all, let's go to all modules that you need to go to settings module. Now, once you will come in settings module, you need to go to GST API. Now, below that, you will see an option of e invoice API account. Now, here you need to follow the procedure of API registration. You will get the step from here. Click here and this a PDF will get open in front of your page, in front of your screen. So in this PDF, we have guided how you need to go to e invoice portal. Then after you need to do the regist API registration, select API registration, then click on user credential. After that, click on create API user. Here, there you will get an option of uh, login. After that, you need to select through GSP. In GSP, you need to select adequate info private limited. Create a username, API username and API password. Once API username and password is generated for adequate info private limited, which will be for transact, you need to come back to transact in the settings module. Now, once you will come back to setting module here, you will get an option of add e invoice API account. Click on this, fill the GSTIN API username, which you have created for transact with the name of adequate info private limited API password. Click on validate and save. Once you will click on validate and save, the system will save the setting. And after that, in the invoice, once you, once you will create the invoice, you will get an option of generate IRM. So through IRN option, you can quickly just go ahead and generate the e-invoice directly from Transact. I hope this particular video will be helpful to you in order to do the API registration and generating IRN. Have a good day ahead.